This week, 13 million Americans tuned in to watch the impeachment hearings as multiple officials testified against President Trump. But some complained the hearings were lacking in pizzazz, dull, and not the masked singer. So to make sure people are paying attention, we now present the hearings in a way that underscores how scandalous these revelations really are. This is Days of Our Impeachment, <laughs> where the only thing at stake is democracy. Starring Adam Schiff. Excitement, emotion, and none of it from me. Cross examiner with a mysterious brain injury, Jim Jordan. I've got my sleeves rolled up, because my job is yelling at a woman. Former ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. Why did Trump come after me? I committed the ultimate sin. I was good at my job. And John Hamm as career diplomat Bill Taylor. I don't just kiss and tell. I kiss and tell and I take notes. Like tweets through your timeline, this is Days of Our Impeachment. Order in the chamber. Ambassador Ivanovich, your opening statement. Thank you, Chairman Schiff, if that is your real name. It is. Okay, great. Uh, I'm only here today because I was a target of a smear campaign by President Trump and Rudy Giuliani that left me publicly humiliated and without a job. Oh, enough! Enough! This witness is clearly here because she loves attention! Oh, yeah. I love the glamour and the spotlight. That's why I spent my career in Ukraine and Somalia. <laughs> Funny you should mention Somalia, because the president... It's right behind me? Is that why you look so shocked? No, this is just how my eyes look. The president just sent a tweet. <laughs> Let the record show that the president is intimidating the witness. Uh, intimidating? If the president wanted to intimidate you, he'd shoot you in the face in the middle of Fifth Avenue. Okay, and then would you impeach him? Well, I'd have to look at the facts, but no. Not, not so fast. Bill Taylor! What are you doing here? Unlike other people in the Trump administration, I show up. And I have a bombshell revelation. There was a second phone call. A second phone call? <laughs> That's right. You knew about the first call, but no one expected phone call number two. Did someone say unexpected number two? Rudy Giuliani. That's right. Mercury's in retrograde, so my powers are at an all-time high. <laughs> and I've got an insurance policy in case the president turns against me. I'm gonna die in a mysterious boat explosion. So you're gonna fake your own death? Oh, I could fake it? Oh, great, I'll do that. The show critics are calling necessary to get people's attention and the first soap where you can't imagine any of the people in it having sex. The chair recognizes... Not so fast. Mitch McConnell? That's right. And the Senate has voted. Acquitted. But th this matter isn't even before the Senate yet. Oh, sorry for the spoiler. Just tell me when I'm supposed to say it. Acquitted. Not so fast. Now, Rudy, you're facing the wrong direction. Where is it? Oh, over, oh, where the cameras are. Hey, not so fast. You have a new revelation, too? No, I meant not so fast, like don't talk so fast. I'm having trouble understanding what's happening. Normally, I watch Fox News in slow motion with the sound turned up to 100. A ridiculous melodrama that's somehow less crazy than what's really happening in our government. Gordon Sondland told me Trump was withholding aid to get political dirt on Biden. And I rarely say this as a diplomat, but I told him that was cuckoo doo doo nutsack bananas. Not so fast. <gasps> Ambassador Gordon Sondland? That's right. I'm part of this too. And I know that I said in earlier testimony that there was no quid pro quo, but that's because I had amnesia. And now the amnesia is fine again. And I remember there was a quid pro quo. A 
Latin phrase. <sighs> Not so fast. Michael Avenatti? That's right. I'm that name you just said. <laughs> I've got a bombshell that will change everything. The president had an affair. Oh, no, yeah, no, we, we know. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, that, that story about was from, like, last season. Oh, all right, very well. Well, uh, then maybe this will interest you. The affair was with a porn star. Yeah, bud, we know. No one seems to care. Ed. Oh, really? Oh, damn. All right, well, fine, I'll go, but you, you haven't seen the last of... Who am I playing again? Michael Avenatti. Michael Avocado. <laughs> And featuring telenovela sensation, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This hearing is lacking one thing, a star. That is why you need Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Alexandria, I didn't expect to see you here. And I didn't expect you to be such a low-key daddy. Now, here's a Red New Deal. It's my lips. Allow it. Enough! Wait, the guy who hit the other guy with the helmet? That's right. I have seen enough. I am tired of being falsely accused. You see, what had happened was, I saw another player who had lost his helmet somehow, and I thought, oh, he should be wearing a helmet. So I attempted to put it back on his head. Mr. Garrett, you are not on trial here. Oh, I know. President Trump just pardoned me, too, for the war crimes. Yeah, he said I could bring a helmet to Afghanistan and just go nuts. <laughs> Not so fast. It's Rudy Giuliani's evil twin. Oh, no, uh, just regular Rudy. I tried to do that thing where you, like, hold up a magnifying glass and you say, I'm going to look into that. But instead, I grabbed a hammer. I took my own eye out. Not my best day. Not my worst. Oh, my God, it's a bad pill. <laughs> oh, God. Is Rudy OK? I think he actually might have fixed me. But to find out, you'll have to tune in next time on... Live from New York,